Hi students, our next chapter is fractions. This is the first chapter in second volume textbook. Okay, what is fraction? In our lower classes we have studied fractions. What is mean by a fraction? Fractions means a part of a whole. For example, this is a circle. Divide it into two equal parts. The one part is called one by two. That means half. Clear? The circle, whole circle is divided into two equal parts. The shaded portion is one part out of two. One, one part out of two. These two. Clear is types of fractions. Here 3 by 8, 5 by 8, 6 by 8, 9 by 8. All are fractions. But all fractions have same denominators. Here all fractions are same denominator. Means denominators are 8. Clear? Here 3 by 11, 5 by 11, 8 by 11, 10 by 11. Here also the denominators are same. Such type of fractions are called like fractions. Like fractions. Fractions with denominators are same are called like fractions. Next type. A set of fractions have different denominators. Here all denominators are different. Such kind of fractions are called unlike fractions. Fractions with their denominators are different. They are called unlike fractions. Clear? Here 3 by 11. A set of fractions 3 by 11, 5 by 8, 3 by 6, 9 by 5 are all denominators are different. So they are called unlike fractions. Here 8 by 3, 9 by 5, 4 by 9 and 11 by 2. Here also the all denominators are different. Such kind of fractions are called unlike fractions. Clear? To get the equivalent fraction, we should multiply or divide both sides. That means the numerator and the denominator with the same number. For example, uh, 1 by 2 is equivalent fraction of 2 by 4. To get uh, 2 by 4, we should multiply here by 2. Both sides by 2. 1 into 2 equals 2. 2 into 2 equals 4. Like that, 2 into 2 equals 4, 4 into 2 equals 8. Like that, we can find the equivalent fraction of any fraction. Uh, to get 2 by 4, we divide both sides by 2. We will get 4 divided by 2 equals 2 by 2. 8 divided by 4 equals 4. So, in this way, we can find the equivalent fractions of any fraction. Clear? Cross product of two fractions. How do we check two fractions are equivalent? By taking the cross product, we can find that. Okay, for example, 4 by 5. And 8 by 10. What is the cross production means? Cross product means multiplying the numerator of the first fraction and the denominator of the second and the denominator of the first fraction and the numerator of the second. Here 4 into 10. And 5 into 8. 4 into 10 equals 40. 
and 8 into 5 equals 40. If the cross production are equal, then we can say that these two fractions are equivalent. If they are not equal, cross product is not equal, then they are not equivalent fractions. Clear? Here, the cross product 4 into 10 equals 40, 8 into 5 equals 40. So, we can say that 4 by 5 and 8 by 10 are equivalent fractions. Clear? Example 1. Check if 3 by 7 and 5 by 8 are equivalent fractions. How do we check it? We can take the cross product. 3 by 7. The first fraction is 3 by 7. Second is 5 by 8. Take the cross product. 3 into 8 and 7 into 5. 3 into 8. 5 into 7. 3 into 8 equals 24. 7, 5 into 7 equals 35. They are not equal. So, therefore, 3 by 7 and 5 by 8 are not equivalent. Equivalent fractions. Okay, two. find the three equivalent fractions of 2 by 5. How do we find the equivalent fractions? We already discussed that we should multiply or divide both sides. That means the numerator and the denominator by with the same number. Here, 2 by 5. 2 by 5, both are prime numbers. There is no common Factor. So, we cannot divide both sides by same number here. So, we can multiply uh, 2. Both sides by 2. This is a 2 into 2 equals 4. 5 into 2 equals 10. So, 4 by 10 is an equivalent fraction of 2 by 5. Then, 2 into 3 by 5 into 3. 2 3s are 6 by 5 3s are 15. 6 by 15 is an equivalent fraction of 2 by 5. And 2 by 5 into 4 into 4 which is equals 2 4s are 8. 5 4s are 20. 8 by 20 also an Equivalent fraction of 2 by 5. So, equivalent fractions of 2 by 5 equals 4 by 10, 6 by 15, 18, 8 by 20. Clear? Next, example 3. Find the 4 equivalent fractions of 24 by 72. 24 by 72. Here, 24 and 72 are even numbers. So, we can divide both sides by 2. Uh, uh, another way is we can multiply here 2 and uh, here also by 2. In this way, we can find the equivalent fraction of uh, 24 by 72. But we will get the bigger number. But here, 24 and 72 are even numbers. So, we can divide both sides by 2. Okay. Then, in 24, how much 2's are there? In 2, 1, 2's are there. We can cut like this. 1, 2's are there in 2. And in 4, how much? 4, 2, 2's are 4. Okay. Then, in 7, how much 2's are there? 2 2's are 4. 3 2's are 6. 3 times. Then here 1 carry over. This become 12. In 12 how much time? 6. So 
12 by 36 is an equivalent fraction of 24 by 72. Clear? Then 12 by 36. Again both, both numbers are even numbers. We can divide both sides by 2. In 12, how much 2's are there? 6 2's are 12. In 3, 1 2's are 2. In 16, 8 2's are 16. Clear? So, we can write here, 6 by 18 is an equivalent fraction of 24 by 72. Next, 6 by 18. 6 by 18. 6 is an even number. 18 also an even number. We can divide both sides by 2. In 6, how much 2's are there? 3 2's are 6. And in 18, 9 2's are 18. So, 3 by 9 is an equivalent fraction of 24 by 72. Next is 3 by 9. Both are divisible by 3. Divided by 3. 9 divided by 3. Which is equals 1 by 3. So we can say that 1 by 3 also an equivalent fraction of 24 by 72. Clear? 1 by 3 is the there is no common factor between uh, 1 and 3. So, it is the uh, simplest to 4. Okay? It is the simplest to 4. So, we can write here equivalent fractions of 24 equals answer 12 by 36 comma 6 by 18, comma, 3 by 9, and 1 by 3 are the equivalent fractions of 24 by 72.